There is international outrage over the shocking death of Putin's bravest opponent, 47-year-old Alexei Navalny, who died today in a remote Siberian prison camp. Make no mistake, Putin is responsible for Navalny's death. Vice President Kamala Harris was at a security conference in Munich along with Navalny's wife, Yulia, when the news of his death broke. This would be a further sign of Putin's brutality. Yulia worked tirelessly to free her imprisoned husband and last year attended the White House Correspondents' Dinner with their daughter, Daria, a 22-year-old Stanford University student. The reaction is one of disbelief, with vigils around the world mourning the death of a man admired for his steadfastness and extraordinary moral courage. In 2020, he survived an assassination attempt by poison. What can you say about Navalny's courage? Because man, they tried to poison him, they tried to kill this guy, and really he would never back down. In the end, he had the audacity and the courage to take on Vladimir Putin, to dream of a different future for Russia. And that for Putin was just uh, a step too far. Just yesterday, Navalny made a remote court appearance looking gaunt but smiling. He was incarcerated for bogus charges at the Polar Wolf penal colony north of the Arctic Circle, where temperatures dropped to a frigid minus 18 degrees. Today, even Tucker Carlson, who faced heavy criticism for his it's softball interview with Putin in Moscow, is calling Navalny's death barbaric and awful.